She on a V. What's good, YouTube? This your boy Chihuahua back to y'all again with another art video, man. If you're new to this channel, go ahead, hit that like button, comment, subscribe, make sure you click post notifications so you will be notified every time you boy drop some heat. In today's video, same old, same old, I will be showing you guys how I draw a cartoon head. So, without further ado, let's jump right into this video. Okay, first thing you want to do after you find your picture, you just want to drag and drop it inside the program. You want to center it. You want to drop the opacity down. That's good enough where your line work can stand out on the top. Okay, let me see. Probably right there. That's good. Then you want to lock that layer, create a new layer right above it. And now, the most important thing of the entire video is setting your brush on your digital art tablet. I'm using a UG art tablet. I put it on the screen so you can see it. But first thing you want to do, you want to come up to the top. You want to hit this drop down menu. Then you want to click new brush. You want to hit OK. Then you want to go to pressure and change the two bottom numbers to three. Then you want to hit OK. After you do that, it should give you this brush. You see me using all my videos. You know what I'm saying? It's just a pressure brush. Like if I press light, it'll give me a, a light line. But if I press hard, it'll give me a thick line. So. What we finna do is make our brush like a 0 0.75. You know what I'm saying? Alright. Zoom in on our picture as close as you can so you can get all the detail. And you know what? I want to make my brush a little smaller than that. So let's go up to like 0 0.5. And we just gonna do all the line work. Speaking of, I'm gonna go even smaller. We go to a 0 0.25. Yeah, that'll do. So we can get some sharp lines. The goal is to make your line work as clean as possible. If you want to make some real good cartoon heads, you just got to make some clean, real clean, sharp line work. Now what we finna do, we finna fill in all the hair on this picture with our pencil tool. So what you wanna do, you wanna go to your pencil tool. You wanna make sure the settings on your pencil tool look exactly like mine's do. You wanna hit OK. Then you wanna move this color black right here to the top by hitting this arrow. And you wanna make sure the bottom color is locked. Now what we're going to do, we're going to use the pencil tool as a fill-in tool. So what you do is you just draw the area. See, I'm drawing out the area I want it to fill in. And then I'm going to go back. See, First, I'm going to just outline it. And then I'm going to come back and close it off. And it'll fill it in for me. So we're going to do that around the entire picture. 
with our pencil tool. So let's go. This this will buy you a whole lot of time from just trying to color it manually. This will save you a lot of time. to give it like a texture you know what i'm saying instead of just trying to draw it like sharp like this trying to fill it in like that to make it look all sharp nah you gotta give it a texture as you draw it you know what i'm saying so it help the effect of making the hair look real Now that we finished with the pencil tool for now, let's go back to our brush tool and let's make it 0.5. What we're going to do is we're going to go back and we're going to add some of the details inside the hairs. Let's make our brush as small as we can get it so we can add some of the finer details. Now what we finna do, we gonna go around the edges, like the out, the outline of his hair. And we gonna give it some more detail. And also, let's go ahead and hit save. Just in case something happened, we had this thing saved, you know what I'm saying? Finish adding the details. Just give it more texture. Now that we finish with the line work, what we're gonna do, we're gonna highlight everything. We're gonna go to object, expand appearance. Then you wanna click merge on your pathfinder. So we can make all the lines become one. You know what I'm saying? Now it's just one bit line. 
So we're gonna go over here to our layers, drag it to this blank sheet of paper to make a copy of the line work, lock the top copy, select the second one, and let's find us a nice little base tone to start with for the skin tone. gonna go to our rectangle tool and we're gonna drag the color over the entire picture then what you want to do is you want to right click the color and go to arrange and then you want to send to back you'll know if you did this step right if you look over here at your layers and you see your line where it's sitting on top of the color right after you do that you want to highlight everything and then you want to click merge on your pathfinder so you can make the color become one with your line work so after that merge together you want to right click the color go to isolate select group and now every area that's closed off we can change the color or we can delete it so let's select this outer color right here and hit delete also to Hit the drop down menu on the color layer we just made. Hit it again. You wanna scroll down till you see your last black line work. Then you wanna lock all the black line work on that layer. And keep the top two unlocked and then you wanna close it back. Now you wanna come over here to your white selection tool and we we're gonna delete all the colors that's trapped inside his hair and the reason we locked out the black line work so we won't delete the line work while we're doing this process Go back to our black selection tool. Let's isolate select group. Hold shift so we can color more than one thing at a time. Let's select the color white. Let's go to the lip color. shift so I can select more area let's change this lip color Now since we got the base color down, what we're going to do, we're going to make a copy of our color layer we just created. So drag it to this blank sheet of paper. Turn the eye off on the bottom color layer and go to the one that's in the middle. And what we're going to do, we're going to delete the skin tone out of the middle layer. But we're going to keep the eye color and the lip color on that layer. So let's do it. Let's delete only the skin tone. Now that we deleted the skin tone out of that layer, let's go back to our layers, turn the eye back on on the bottom one, create us a new layer that's in between the base color layer and the layer where we deleted the skin tone. So this is going to be the layer. Go to your pencil tool, make sure your color is at the top and the bottom one is locked. And this is going to be the layer where we add our shadows. See, it's just gonna fall right behind the lip color and the eye color, so it's gonna make our job easier. So, 
What I like to do when I'm doing my shadows, I like to start with a dark tone. So what I do is I sample the skin tone and then I try to find me a nice dark tone. I try to create me a, a dark tone from starting with the base tone. So try to find us a nice little starter. Okay, that'll do for now. Okay, go to your pencil tool. And what you do is you just focus. Let me go to my pencil too. What you do is you just focus on the original photo. Like I'm looking at the original photo and I'm placing all the dark dark tones where I see them at. I'm placing all the dark tones where I see them on the original picture. And the more you focus on the original picture and you try to copy exactly what you see, the better your, your shadows and your shading will turn out. Cause that's all I do. I just focus on the original picture and I place all the tones in the exact spot I see it at on the picture. It just takes some practice. So the more you do it, the better you'll get at it. Now, let's create us a new layer, and we're gonna go a little lighter with the tone. Like, what I do is I start with my dark shadows, and every time I'm finished with that color, that, that color I created, I go lighter. I create a new layer every time I go lighter with the tones, and I just keep stacking it. I put my dark shadows on top, and I tuck my lighter shadows. So I created me a new layer and I put it right underneath this dark tone we just made. And I just keep going with that same method throughout the whole picture. So let's sample the skin tone. Let's try to find us a nice in between color. Let me see. What we finna do, we finna go back to our middle tone. And what I like to do is, I like to hit object, expand, and click merge on my pathfinder so I can make all the colors on that one layer, just one merge so I can make it all become one line. And we finna tweak it a little bit. So let's go to edit. Edit colors. Adjust color balance. Hit preview. And let's try to make it fade into the next colors. 
a little better. So sometimes you're gonna have to go in and you're gonna have to adjust your colors. So that's what I like to use when it's time to go go to a certain shadow layer and try to adjust the color to help it blend a little better. What I like to use is just what I showed you. I come up here and I go to edit, edit colors and adjust color layer. I mean, adjust color balance. And that's all you need to know. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish shading this whole pitch out real fast.
Now we finna create a layer at the very top. And we're gonna add some detail inside his eyes. And last but not least, we're gonna create one more layer at the very top. We're gonna bring out our swatches. Go to your gradient on your swatch layer. This is fine. It can be, it can be any color because we're gonna change the color anyway. Okay, after you pick a gradient color, you want to select the edges. You want to make it black, but you want to make it fade into a color. Now that we got our brush, you want to go to your pencil tool, make sure the color is at the bottom this time and the top one is locked. Now we're going to give him a nice little hair texture effect. And there you have it, you guys, how to make a cartoon head. If you're trying to purchase one for yourself, hit me up on Instagram at ChiWorld1234, and I will send you my price list. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you stay tuned. More heat coming soon, and I'm out there.